I am going to be streaming some Ludum Dari games today. Um, this is Swee Game. Um, I have just been participating in a iFest that was focusing on a lot of indie games, and I was able to demo a VR game that I've made, and I decided that now that I'm home and rest a little bit, I would try and play the VR games that are available on the Ludum Dari. It took a lot of effort trying to dig them up and find them. Unfortunately, um, most of them, I haven't um, been able to, to open them up and see if they work, so um, it could be a complete bust. And many of them don't have 20 ratings yet, so I'm really eager that uh, we might be able to help give the game some love, highlight them, um, so that if you're watching, you can rate them as well. And eventually, I can go and I can give feedback to the creators of these so that they can continue to make amazing VR projects in the future. Now, remember, all of the things that I will be streaming were made in 48 to 72 hours, so be forgiving of glitches. And I think some of them, um, it was more an exercise in trying to make something really cool rather than necessarily completing a project that they were intending to share. So I imagine most of these are going to be rough around the edges. And the first game that I had that came up um, when I was doing a search through all of the Ludum Dari entries for VR is this one, which I have played before. Um, this is called VR Oont. The theme of the Ludum Dari 41 was to combine two incompatible genres. And so this is a web game. It does include VR, but it isn't in a headset where you are controlling a person that is in VR, but they are also um, playing um, like a ninja game. So your goal is to try and make sure that you do not um, injure the furniture in your house too much while you're trying to play. So let me make sure that we, we do have some desktop audio for this one. Because I have my VR headset, um, it means that I actually um, have the, the stream window pulled up sometimes. So please be forgiving of any technical difficulties that might occur from this as a result. Okay. Oh, it looks like gonna change the headphones to go. Oh, I got my headphones plugged in. <laughs> headphones to go through the vibe. Okay, so in order to play this game, you're going to be moving the character on the bottom. See, I can move left and right. But I also need to hit the space bar to keep from dying. So you see that I have the lives up at the top. I noticed when I was playing this before though that if you stand in certain spots you have the ability to kind of like hurt these ninjas without having the disruption of hurting your furniture. So you can kind of see how everything's parallel. Oh, oh the ninja just going after me, trying to get me. And you saw on the bottom, there's like a little bird that flew in the window. There's also going to be like a little vacuum cleaner that comes in. And when the vacuum cleaner touches me, it stuns me. So I want to make sure that I don't do that because then I'll lose my lives. So that was in some way a success. I was able to get a no score because I wasn't defeating the ninja. But I also didn't damage my apartment, so so that should be a big, big win. Gonna play again. This time, I'm going to try and actually hit the ninja. So I have this like little space bar, and I found that if you sit in the corner, oh, I did, I 
like I said at first, I can move forward up here, then I have a better chance of not hurting any of the things. And so, I can sit here and just attack the ninjas. Maybe the ninjas can't come up behind me so I can get a higher score. And I have a very low likelihood of destroying the things in my apartment. Because even if you stay completely still, and the bird go away, there we go. Even if you stay completely still, eventually you start destroying the items in your apartment. Some of my love. Oh, the vacuum cleaner came. No. Okay. Well, I killed five ninjas and got $20 in damages. So this is a kind of fun little game. The idea is that kind of making fun of how, you know, like VR um, makes you blind and deaf. So it can be dangerous to play. And uh, if you don't have your boundaries set up properly, then you're going to do a lot of damage to the items in your house. And getting the equipment to play VR can be expensive. The headset can be expensive. And so trying to uh, play a game with all of this expensive equipment and all of the expensive things in your living room can be difficult. So I think that if I just keep dodging, I have a chance. Oh. Oh. Uh, Ninja really likes to get me. Ooh, there we go. Ha -ha, ha -ha. So I just keep dodging. I'm not sure um, whether or not this was a combo entry with uh, 48 hours or 72, but they had four members on their team. I like the way that they combined the themes. It works really well. You, you have, uh, you know, like a simple scheme set up. Ooh, got me. And a pretty simple concept. I, I think in a way there's no real winning state. They probably just have the ninjas generating um, randomly trying to get you. And your goal is to try and not damage your apartment while killing as many ninjas as possible. So a kind of fun concept. I thought it would be a really cute way to start the VR because when I came across it, I was like, wait, okay. It's not technically a VR game, but it definitely is about VR. So. <laughs> and then this is VR, The Art by Michael Clavel, Tyler Hernandez, Sam Finston, and Paul Avioli. Or uh, Avalon? Sorry if I butcher your name. It looks like there's been a lot of people raiding and playing it, and so a lot of people have had fun. So this is a really cool concept. So the next game that I wanted to play is called Cardi. This runs with um, Steam VR, so it should work on my Vive. And I've already pre-downloaded it, so all I have to do is get it to open. So we've downloaded a lot of the game uh, ahead of time. So let's see if we can get this one to work. I already have Steam VR open and running. Check to see. So yeah, I can lift the headset. Looks like looks like everybody should be able to see. So, I'm not seeing anything. The skybox is kind of fuzzy. Oh, okay. Grab a card from the deck and throw it. Okay, those are tiny. Let me get my controllers in. Oh, oh, I have my hand switched. Okay. So, grab a card from the deck. Oh, okay. 
um, and throw it. Okay. Okay. So I'm I have cards. Not sure how well you guys can see. So this is Cardi. So when I squeeze the trigger, it's putting a card. Ho! Oh! Putting it in between my fingers. Okay. Okay. Come in. Oh. So I think I'm trying to throw it. So can I? No. What? Okay. So when I hit my button, it's turning the course around. Okay, but the table stays in front of me, so that's pretty good. I thought I might be able to teleport, but it doesn't seem like there's any teleportation in here. I'm not sure. Okay. I have a lot of cards. I liked how it, it kind of showed me that I could play toss a card, and it told me to start the game with that. It was a pretty good UI. I, I think I probably have way too many cards. I'm not sure why. I have so many cards on both hands. That that's interesting. But it's kinda cool that they're trialed it on and, and everything. So when I hold the trigger, it takes one of the cards from under my wrist and it's putting it in my fingers. And then I have a hole in front of me that's reinforced by this panel down here. And then I think my goal is to try and get it in there. It's really bad to throw it. Okay, so that kind of threw a little bit too far to the right. So let's, let's aim that way. Oh, that was close. Okay. <laughs> well, that was definitely poorly planned. Okay. Oh, just a little bit further? No. Wow. Okay. I'm really bad at this. Let's, let, let's try and get one. I'm going to need a lot more cards. <laughs> Boom. A little bit harder. Rawr. Okay. Wind keeps catching. Ah. I thought that one might go in. I'm at 20. Okay. I feel like... Missing something. I, I mean, if it says that this should take three, then I must, I must be missing something. <sighs> well, the counter is pretty effective. That one was so close. Load up my cards. Try it with my other hand. See if I'm... I think I'm worse with that hand. Okay. Come on. The wind keeps picking it up. Come on. Urgh. I'm bad at golf. I'm really bad at card golf. <laughs> I just... I want to teleport. That would make life so much easier. <sighs> oh my goodness. You can see all of my missed cards. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wonder if I miss a hundred times. Not, not that I'm going to try and miss a hundred times. It looks like there's nine holes. Come on. I feel like I'm doing the same motion. Over and over again, but I'm expecting different results. A little bit further. Come on. <laughs> oh, sometimes I get so close. I, I don't know if it's... It's not colliding with these things, I don't think. So, I don't know. This is hard.
Maybe if I stand over here, because I just, oh, need more cards. Okay. I keep getting it too far to the right. Ah, it's like in bowling, when you get too far to the right. You can move to the left, and sometimes that'll help. <sighs> okay. I'm still littering the right side. Oh, I got one to the left. Yay. Woohoo. <sighs> okay. Can I get some headphone assistance? Mm. You hear it? Nope. Okay. Yeah. It's called Cardi. Yep. I'm wondering if there's some audio tutorial that I, I just am not able to hear that's going to help me. <laughs> Let's try Cardi again. No, I still don't hear anything. Oh, this time I didn't start with. Okay, well, okay. I have, so I just have to touch the deck in order to get the cards. Okay, so I like this, like, you're kind of starting in the middle of nowhere, and you have these cards that you can throw, and it's just a simple directive to kind of help people get started. So I throw one, and then I'm trying to get that hole. I don't hear any wind. This could benefit from some audio ambience. Um, something to kind of like help guide me figure out why everything's going to the right like if there is some whooshing that would explain why my cards keep flying off to the right besides the fact that I'm just terrible at this I can't get past level one. This reminds me of Kirby. Kirby Dream Course. It's a Kirby had this like um square um layout that it looked flat, but then when Kirby would go on it, it would start, like, rolling. And my cards keep falling all the way to the right, which makes me feel like there's something sloping. I don't know if there actually is something sloping. It's probably just I'm terrible at this. <sighs> what now? What, what are... Oh, do I throw a card through that? No, no, this is level two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's just evil. There's a barrier in my way. 
Oh my goodness. Boom. Sound effects make it help. So maybe I just throwing it wrong all this time like it's meant to be thrown like a frisbee <laughs> i can i can do frisbee whoa 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 i can be horrible at this game i like how they took the level one and they kind of iterated over it there would have it would have been nice to have some sort of visual letting me know that I transitioned to to hole two instead of just having the barrier show up because they are so similar. I don't know if there's a way to skip to the other holes, but it doesn't feel like there's a way for me to win here. Ah. Ah. I don't know if you like watching me fail, but uh, I think I think I'm done with this one for now. But it has a lot of potential. I like I like how they have uh, nine holes in it. That it's very golfy, um, and they have the golf course. I'm not sure what the other levels look like, but it looks like they 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 took a solid design and they just like tried to make it work uh, focused on levels and definitely two incompatible genres i'm not really good at throwing frisbees not really good at playing golf and so the combined effort of that is that i'm not really good at this game i don't know a lot of detail i really like this like ui overlay and i love what they did at the very beginning to kind of teach you the basic element of how to play the game by having that text up there that initially started the game by you throwing a card which is the main action they're going to be doing so that was really cool yeah had to take off the vr to get the next one to play okay It's open in Chrome. Oh, I, I did. So the next one, if you scroll up, doesn't add up. So it should be. It might be L6 LD. Yeah. The lazy I'll do the lazy wizard. Can you pull up the page for it first? Okay. So can you move the lazy wizard over? Okay. So we're doing the lazy wizard. Is this a compo or a jam entry? Uh, up at the top under the title. Compo. So it looks like this is a compo entry. And it is something that uh, was made in 48 hours by one person. That's pretty cool. Do you want to get it loaded up? Uh, made, with made with Unity. Awesome. Okay. I'm, I just see gray. I don't see anything right now. I'm everything's black. Oh, maybe not. I thought it was a VR game. Oh, oh, is there a VR link at the bottom? Oh, it's just Windows. Oh, okay. Um, Play it itself.
I have home protection. Right. So, I'm not sure what the controls are for this. Oh, okay. So, I'm moving around. I'm moving over a hole. Can I jump? No. Okay, this is a lazy wizard. I guess I'm just flying around. Okay, that looks like a mud pit. I guess my goal is to get over there towards the treasure chest? Well, that seems weird. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, let me... So, I didn't have time to work on the LD this weekend, so what I was able to finish, you play as a wizard who uses a magic orb to take over someone else's body. Um, incompatible genres are first person, third person, the music is a mash of rock and roll, fantasy music, and even though I didn't make it in, I did some voice acting and I was really incompatible. Joel's WSD, no objective, just walk around and collect coins and stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm very curious how this works for VR. Because with the VR, like, I'm not sure how they were trying to, to pick pick up the... It might have been a lucky scale kind of thing. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. So. I don't see any coins. Goal, I think, is to pick up coins. So there's a tree with a cloud over it. Works like rain. Oh, oh, that's a thing. How to? Okay. But okay. Whoa. There's some graves. Is that a coin? I found a coin. I'm really not certain what that is. The mist looks like the button that's near us. Oh, that's the end of the world, okay. Oh, the music stopped. That's weird. Okay. Oh, found some water. There's a barrel. There's some corn. Oh, there's coin. I don't know. Oh, oh, there's stuff in the distance too, that's weird. I don't know why I lost that. Here. Okay. Oops. Oh, now, now I have sound. Okay. It's like a little farm. They must have put a lot of effort into like making these villages and stuff. Oh, silo. Wait, where this? Oh, there it is. I don't know if everything's rendering the way that it's supposed to. Whoa, you just get... So there's something that's rendering in the distance. There's the, like, housing thing. Let's see if I can get close to them. I'm bringing you around closer to me. See? There's the... Oh, oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like yeah, a chicken coop. Just aren't uh, hiding the way that everything else is. Yeah. Okay, that's probably a bug. Yeah, probably. I don't know if there's like a brokenness in the loop of the music, but the music stopped again. I think I've explored the entire distance of this. This has a lot of potential. If they added like a walking uh, motion for this, maybe some some audio for footsteps. Like this could be a pretty interesting thing where you like you're in VR and you're looking at it like in Lucky's Tale and and controlling the character and just kind of like doing some world exploration along with some uh, huh, with coin collecting. 
and I think everything was pre-laid out, like the whole world was designed. And then I'm only seeing like nine blocks of it, or maybe, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think, I think it's a four by four grid, so I think it's just 16. So I can see 16 blocks out of it. It's a really cool concept. Oh, can I go swimming? Oh, found another coin. <laughs> so I'm very curious whether or not the idea here was to to use the the um, kind of trackpad thing on the Vive controller or or one of the the analog sticks on the Oculus in order to play it. I'd love to see the VR version if the developer does have it available. Ah, it doesn't add up. Okay, this is the next one, which is, it doesn't add up. This is, um, I think, a VR educational first-person shooter with uh, silly monsters. So. Looks like this was a jam entry, and it was a combination from students and lecturers, and there was like a big list on their main page um, of people that participated in this. So they did this in 42 hours, or no, 42, um, 72 hours, and they had um, three educators, and then it looks like there were a combination of different years that are working on this. So I'm not sure if this was a high school project or if this was a college project. It was definitely student project, which is kind of cool. Let me see if I can get it out. Okay. So, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to put the headset back on. Mm -hmm. Headphones. I think these are my controllers. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's two types of guns. Extra large. I like the hand. Oh, I think I have them switched. Okay. So I love these arrows that are kind of directing me to, to look behind me. Not all games have this. It looks like they recognize that I play a Vive or only made a Vive version. And so they're saying that I can take one controller and I can go like that. Scroll through multiplayer. So maybe what they're saying is that, aha. So this has a visual of the Vive controller and it's showing me that if I touch the big circle, um, I can change what my gun type is. So it looks like right now I have two gun types. And it looks like these are called multiplayers. So I'm going to shoot one. Okay, I'm going to shoot the other one. So it looks like this one has just a bigger ball. That one's kind of smaller. That's good to know. Okay. And it's still directing me this way. And then it also has a, another thing up there. Although, because it's spinning, it makes it hard to read. <laughs> so I can change my weapon. Oh, I can do a multiplier. Okay, so if I squeeze, um, not sure what's. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to try shooting zero. Okay. That seems good. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Maybe this is actually... No. Okay. Okay. Let's Can I shoot nine? Whoa. 
Okay. That was weird. So if I shoot in the middle with the other one. So that shoots them back. Maybe. And if I shoot it with this one. That seems to make it... No? I, I think the weapons are mostly the same. Okay. Oh. Oh. Does it have a certain... Oh! I might be... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Huh. Minus 232, and that one has a multiplier of 8. But now, over here... Okay, I don't know. That was weird. Okay, so... I don't know. I don't know what this one's doing. Okay. But I think I can hit start here. And that'll let me start. There we go. Okay. So I have one and I have times one. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. And that's a three, I think. Okay, so I have negative three. Not sure why I have negative three. Whoa! Okay, hi! Okay. Okay, so that's one times that. That's negative 13. Negative 20. I don't want negatives. I want positives. That's what? Okay. Hi! Oh! 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 Okay. Buggers are fast. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm positive. Whoa. Whoa, I'm doing minus. Okay. 13, that's positive. 19. 28. Okay. Well, this is plus. Is this minus? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 49? 45? Okay, this is minus. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, I guess I ran out of time. Okay, so I think this one is negative, not multiplying. So if I hit eight, then. I don't have a score. Oh, I have negative eight. Okay. So, <laughs> if I hit... So, I don't know what I hit. Okay. And I have positive eight. So now I should have 16. And I have 17. And I have 26. 35? Oh, I'm off by something. That's weird. So. Okay, 35. 35. So let's see if I hit 1. Okay, got 34. And if I do an addition, I have 35. Okay, so I have minus and plus. So then, if I have two pluses... So now I have 36, 
97. Okay. Huh. Hmm. That was a little hard to figure out. Okay, so. There, there should be something that's like right here to tell me or this little symbol should be like a plus because it says x there which makes me think it's a multiplication so i think that was one of the reasons why i got confused and the fact that these are the same gun but that little logo is different is kind of odd and having the lineup um if this was meant to be the tutorial it would have been helpful if instead of having the high score like kind of scrolling around if there was something like right here in the middle that was showing me like a score so when i hit it with the big one i i would have a score up there and if i hit it with like the little one that does minus then it would go down and i think i would have learned a lot faster what that was and the fact that they're spread out now that also makes it hard for me to kind of learn what the different values are because there's no reset i can understand that zero zero and i'm thinking that the number of little like eyeball thingies that they have is uh is their appendages but uh yeah i also don't know why i can sometimes shoot and sometimes can't that was weird. So I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try and keep them both on positive and see how far I get. Okay. High score is 177. So, okay. Okay. Got that one. Got that one. That's a zero. So I can do negative from that one. Really bad at this. Okay. I don't know if my score goes down if I let them touch me. Okay. Not sure why that one's out. I don't know if there's anything I can do to bring it back. Maybe switching to negative here. Okay. Okay. Okay, got that one. I like the little aiming. It works. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the monsters should have a sound added to them. Hi! I have a friend! Okay, well. End of level. Oh, what was my high score? Okay. So I guess I just get a certain number of bullets. Okay. It's really impressive for, for being able to make in 72 hours. I like the backing soundtrack that they added. I like that they tried to create this like tutorial with the, the, the good UI to kind of help orient the player so that they would know what to do. I think the only thing I was really confused on was like uh, what my guns did. And then I just took a few playthroughs. 
I'd also say that it would be nice if the tutorial over there wasn't spinning because when the words are backwards it makes it hard to read if instead of spinning if it was like getting bigger and smaller if you wanted to add some motion to draw attention to it like that might work better I also wish that the high score would stay up there um, in between the levels I'm not sure where that noise is coming from because it would be nice to see my high score that I just got so, time to quit. Okay. Cool. That was a really, really cool game. Where do we go up next? <laughs> was it up? Or could they see it at all? It's right here. Okay. <laughs> and the next one is the Ultimate Magic Dueling Tournament. So this one is also a jam entry. It was something that was created, I think, in 72 hours. Table tennis or fencing are the best dueling sports made. Live via duel. Okay. We cast spells. The game contains a tutorial. They use the CVR plugin for Unity, some free assets, and lots of math to determine which patterns you're trying to uh, cast. <laughs> so Oculus may not work properly, but good thing we're playing it on the Vive. It's still in beta. Okay, so let's get ultimate the soccer drinking game. Not fan -fated. So it says X64. That's not helpful. Oh, I bet that's it. No, that's not it. Come on. Oh, no, maybe it is a 64 one. <laughs> Having no no name on the file makes it really hard to make sure you're playing the right thing. Okay. Okay. Made in Unity. Did a window pop up? Okay. Press trigger to start casting spots. Okay, looks like I'm in a um, stadium. The skybox is the default unity sky box but then there's also fancy feet i see a mysterious head in front of me which is kind of interesting so i'm gonna press the trigger button oh oh okay let go of the trigger to stop okay draw a circle while holding trickle let go of it after you finish okay Woo! circle Aha! Cast the water circle spell. Let go of the trigger and immediately swing up to defend. Oh, okay. Woo. Uh, I don't know what happened. Oh. Because you're offline. Oh. Like OBS just stopped? I'm not sure. I just, the screen said you entered. Push page says you're offline. Oh. Sorry. Well, it says that it says so it's on streaming here. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. And the game is not like you, so it's with Unity. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle, roll in the trickle, and let go of it after you finish. Okay, that was a really bad circle. Okay, let's make a better circle. And then let go of the trigger and immediately swing down to attack. Okay. Woo! 
Woo! Okay. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So I have attacked with the water spell. And then I swing up to defend. Okay. I'm going to put my wrist protectors on. Okay. Woo! No. Okay. Now let's try something different. Draw a triangle. Okay. Cast an earth triangle spell. Look at the trigger and immediately swing up to defend. Okay. Boop, 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 boom. Okay. Okay. I uh, may be really bad at that. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Aha. Okay. Let's try something different. Draw a diamond. Okay. One, two, three, four sides and a diamond. Cast a diamond, fire, let go of the trigger and immediately swing down to attack. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then defend. That didn't work so well. Okay. Okay. Gotta work on my diamonds. Okay. Maybe smaller. There we go. Okay. So defend from fire with water. From water with fire. From earth with earth. Whoa. Okay. Defend from fire with water. And from water with fire. And earth just is neutral. Okay. Press sugar three times to start playing. Okay. Ah! Oh, oh, weird. It's like rock, paper, scissors. There's no audio. Okay, so I want water. Oh, yeah, okay. I want, okay. No! Ah! Really bad at this. Oh, that was Earth. Okay. <laughs> okay, Earth was a diamond. And no, that was fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm losing. Definitely losing. Okay. There we go. Can't hurt me. Right? Please? Boom. Okay. Sometimes it's not recognizing it. I'm not sure why. Okay. Boom. So I can just keep spamming one over and over again. Can I do two at the same time? No. <laughs> I can only do this with water. Okay, well, okay. I wish that there was some sort of sound effects, like some cheering or something. And I'm not sure if there's like an ultimate goal or this just like continues going at all. But they took like a really basic premise, which is really cool. 
it's almost like rock, paper, scissors, but a little different because you 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 fight Earth and you defend Earth um, with Earth. But fire defeats water, water defeats fire. So it's just like two there. So you have to remember all of those. And then you have to remember all the symbols. And so I keep getting lost on whether or not like I scoot up to defend or I scoot down to defend. I'm not sure which motion's which. It, it, it's hard to get them right. I'm just going to take all the damage here. The background seats are a little dizzying. The The way that it's rendering layering over, um, it's kind of creating like a, a pattern. And I wonder if there's a texture that you could have applied. Oh, what? Distance between lenses. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Um, I wonder if there's a texture that could have been applied in order to make it um, a little less uh, motion like that because um, it looks like it looks like you actually put all of those objects there and when you're making a VR game like you don't want the objects but maybe I'm wrong maybe uh, maybe it is just a texture but you're going to want in a VR game to focus on making like these really um, high detailed things in front of us. So like the rock wall, the fire effects, the water effects. And it would be really cool if there was like a little bit of sound with it. So like when the fire hits me, like having a sizzle, you know, like having some sort of like pound sound whenever like the, the rock wall goes up. Maybe having like a splash sound whenever like the, the water does and have a unique sound for each one of them. A sound for defend, a sound for fire, because that would also give me a, a little bit of a clue on what the other mage is is casting so i can prepare for it and i can like listen for the sounds for like oh they're casting this they're casting that they're casting that and then i can uh can react appropriately because it's really hard to tell um the water wall um and the water um spell and when you have the rocks the rocks are really big and they're not transparent which i mean makes sense but it's hard to see the the spell coming through that. So it seems like the AI is really good at casting these. You know, it's like casting them a pretty quick pattern. Doesn't necessarily lend me an opportunity to to get my feet wet and like kind of memorize the patterns. The tutorial was really cool, taught me how to do it. I liked how it eased me into it. But now it might be nice um, if you keep working on it to like have a goal, almost like in tennis where you're like you're supposed to like get up to 30 or you can have a smaller goal where you don't know, like first person up to five wins and then you keep adding new enemies and maybe the first one you know, only cast water. Um, the second one only cast, you know, fire. And you could have the tutorial, instead of having it front-loaded, you could slowly introduce it, and you could first show me how to do water. You show me how to cast water and have the enemy be, you know, like, just sitting there waiting for it. And then, you know, I could slowly add to my repertoire while also... Um, doing the enemy so like it wouldn't introduce something to me before I was ready for it so like I could just start out with water shooting water learn how to do the circles and they would introduce the new one to me and it would you know like have an enemy that you know is vulnerable to it you know maybe I learn fire and this one only cast water and you can kind of build the levels up to that but you use the same mechanic but it's based on like what the enemy's throwing at you uh, and you can kind of uh, give the player some success and give the player some goals where you're trying to go through different enemies. And maybe you can have different images for the, the enemies. And maybe you could have a different place where the battles happen. So, like, maybe when you're doing the water one, it could look like a beach. Maybe when you're doing the fire one, you could, you know, be near a volcano, have lava or something. So... Yeah, I think there's a lot of potential here, and I think that you did a lot of good work for it only being, you know, a 72-hour um, game jam, and I, I, I really, really want to see where this goes. And definitely add sounds. If you, if you want to polish it, a really great, easy polish that you reach to is find some free sound assets 
and you just um, add them to the um, sound. Um, you can have like an input sound and then you can just play it when you play the script. So when it goes up, you can make it play the audio source that has been attached to it. It's really easy, adds a lot of polish to VR game. So let's see what we have to play next. Okay. Technot. Ooh, I like the hands in this one. Technot. Bring the limitations of VR to traditional PC gaming. Technot puts you in the boots of these high tech gloves. Your legs are missing, and you must use other forms of locomotion to move around and overcome challenges. Soft puzzles move around with your grapple and rocket hands in the magical land of space, where physics needs not apply. Okay. Um. <laughs> I love the name of their team. I love your face. I think that's like a Philip DeFranco reference. Although he says, like, I love your faces. That's his outro. Okay, so Technot, let's see if I already have it downloaded. I'm trying to download everything. I don't see it. I don't see it downloaded. Okay. Okay. Let's see in the final. It's called Technot. Huh. I don't know what happened. I don't see it though. I must have missed it. Okay, so I'll have to come back to that one. Ooh, wrong place. Or wrong priorities. Okay, this one was a Google VR. Um, I don't know. I can play this one. Okay. So we cannot provide any real in-game footage because it's VR, but in the following image you can see the scene where the game takes place. So I think that one plays on Android. I can't stream that one, unfortunately. Okay. So the next one I have is this Calculator Sweat VR. Gonna Download. Okay, download Technot. And then I have Calculator Sweat VR. So Calculator Sweat. Let's see this one. I have a feeling this one is going to have a lot of movement in it. Okay. Can I make this full screen? Oh, apparently they called the game Poop. Okay. Okay, so I am in a big scene. I have, ooh, sweet. They're telling me that I can teleport, and my controllers are kind of uh, shaking a little bit. Oh, the buttons are shaking. That's a nice touch. Okay, cool. Standard. Whoa. Okay. Well, not completely standard. Aha. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Okay. So, that is apparently unlocked. Can I get some assistance? got some Z fighting going on there. <laughs> Whoa! Everything just went black. There we go. Okay. <laughs> nope, it's good. <laughs> I think that you failed to account for the fact that I am very short. 
So. <sighs> Okay. Oh. Okay. Nine, 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 nine divided by two. Um, equals. <sighs> Woo! Can I hit equals again? Two. Okay. Okay. Weird. Unlocked. Okay. Okay. So I've unlocked a teleport. Maybe. What? What? Well, that's not pleasant. I can't go anywhere else. What? Uh, what? Okay. Can't can't play it anymore. Okay, let's restart it and see see if that'll make a difference. Okay, so I'm standing in the scene. It's really encouraging me to teleport, but there's no place to teleport to unless I go to the unlocked, but nothing happened when I went to unlocked. Okay. Okay. But the calculator works, which is good. Yeah, I can do six times three. It equals, I get 18. I mean, yeah, it's exactly what it promised, but there's not a game that I have located. Okay. So I'm going to, see, it's telling me I can teleport over here. And I have my calculator over there. Um, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else. So I'm wondering if they had this scene that they just kind of created the calculator in. They got some good music. Oh. Okay. 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 Come on. Still getting the audio. So we could try and close it from there. So it says, walk around in your headset, reach high and squat low, and punch the buttons to use your calculator. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I think that may have been all that's there. Just kind of pressing calculator with your body. And then we also have this one, which is a drinking game while playing soccer. So, it's a low frame rate VR game. You have 60 seconds to play some one on one street soccer mile. Meanwhile, the game gets blurry as you get drunker. Okay. 
crazy. Let's see how this plays. Because blurriness in here is generally not a good thing. Let's see. Oh, this one's made in Unreal. Unreal generally means that it has a really beautiful graphics. It's uh, the engine that a lot of AAA titles use. So hopefully this looks good. Although, you know, I it's going to be blurry. Yeah. Okay. Participate. Drinking game while playing soccer. So, not sure if this is a VR game or not. Put my heads up. I don't. I don't. Oh. Am I getting something? Kind of. Okay. Whoa. I hear something. Not seeing anything. Whoa. Okay. I hear a ding. It looks like the game is still trying to load. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's not an actual VR game. Okay. So then that means... I'm not sure... Why is it a, why did it come up as VR? It says low, low frame rate VR game, but you have WASD to move, and I wasn't seeing anything come up in my headset. So, I don't know, I don't know if it's actually VR. Let me move on to the next one. Okay, so, Voxel Taxic. It's made for the HTV Vive. If you can't shoot, probably means it's not your turn. So, okay. Oh. Oh, they forgot Unity. I've forgotten that so many times. Okay. So, that's not going to be in that one. Okay, this one is just trying to load. Let's copy. Now we should be able to play it. Oh no. Oh no, they don't. Do you not be able to fix it though? That's going to be a problem. So, I don't know if they have any. They have source code and then they have the, the drop down. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna try the drop off sync again and see. Nope, it doesn't have the Unity player in it. But it does have the source code. So I'm wondering if I might be able to 
see if I can try and get the source code to get it out. Oh, my screen went black. There we go. Okay. So I got it working. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. It's kind of cool. So I have a teleporter. I think I'm supposed to be in this square here. That's what I'm assuming. And then I can, I think, move. Those uh, characters remind me a lot of Minecraft. Okay. So I think I want to be over there. Okay. So I have a gun. I can't see my controllers. Okay. I assume something's happening. I have some shield protection. Assume, is it not my turn? Oh, whoa, oh. Okay, they're shooting. Okay. So I move, then shoot. I think that's how it works. Okay, whoa, okay. So I can move here, and I can shoot right in front of me. Well, that seemed good. Whoa, okay. This is weird, okay. Okay, I'm gonna shoot right there. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> I don't see any lifespan. Okay, that thing's gonna hurt me. Ah, got me, got me. Okay. Woo! Okay. I just gotta see. Okay, someone shot near me. Okay, so I think if I move over there. Gonna have ooh, got one. Now ah, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm right behind him. Headshot, just wounds. Okay, headshot again. Woohoo! Okay, now I can, I guess, move wherever I like. And then there's going to have another one that loads in. Okay. I don't see any other enemies. Okay. Okay. So, like, a way to restart it. Okay. I wish that there was, like, some sort of, like, hit point thing. So, I imagine, like, this red thing's my box. That was kind of good to start off with. Like... Really obvious, like, that I was supposed to be standing in this uh, space. Um, I like that I started out as, like, my turn. I, I didn't realize I was supposed to shoot afterwards. So I hid and then delayed the game. If there was some sort of audio, that would be good. Like, something associated with, like, firing. So, like, I could hear my uh, fire and hear theirs. Um, yeah. I like that kind of, like, arrow thing. That was kind of cool. Ooh. I don't think I can climb up on anything. Yeah, I have to stay level, but I can hide behind things and protect myself. Although, I mean, I'm not sure how much health I have, so I don't know. There's no visual representation. Ooh. Oh, that bounced off the wall. Cool. At first, I thought I was in some sort of, like, Pong-like game. And somebody just wants to stay here. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Defeating a block or something? Wait. Um. I think it's possible that there's a level above me. Or the things have it faded out. So, yeah. Okay. Just a short little game. 
Okay, let me see. <sighs> okay, so I was trying to download Techno Knots from before. I think it's finished downloading now. So I should be able to play it. Put the menu up. Let's pull up the page description for this. So, TechNot. WCD to control your hand rotation. Space bar to use rocket thrusters. Left mouse button to use graphics. So, I also don't know if this one is for VR. Limitations of VR traditional PC gaming. So, this one may not be a VR game. So, I can see something in my headset. Okay. Oh, wait. This is the thing I was just playing. Okay, I need to pull up Technos. Okay, is there going to be anything in my headset? of VR Ludum Dari games that I could find. There is one that was for Android, which I can play it on my Android phone, but I can't stream. And then I also had two that I came across that were desktop only. So let me put down all of my VR equipment and then I can play the two other games that I found that are meant to be like VR, but are on the desktop. So we have TechNot. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm going to play this one. <laughs> Sounds made in Unity. So looks like I'm gonna play. Oh, okay. So I can WSD to move. Space rocket jump. Okay. Whoa, okay. I am last on people. Okay. Okay, well, wait, last on. That one seems like a good one, so it works, okay. I'm still latched on. So when I click my mouse button, oh, what's that? That looks like it's a gate. Maybe that's where I started. Okay. Yeah. 
don't know if I'm making any progress either. I feel like I'm making negative progress. I'm following. Okay, well, this is definitely making progress. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's try that again. on the air phones just in case there's some some audio that I am missing. Okay. That's good. Uh, okay. I got some rocket boost. Myself up to the rocks. Okay. Oh, I got rocks. Oh, okay. Myself up. Myself up. Oh. Am I going? I can't even tell anymore. Okay. Sure, what's supposed to be happening here? I think I'm just flying. I think I'm just straight up flying. I make myself another thing. So I can cover this one. So I'm going to fly up. I think I'm supposed to try and get. Up to stones along the way. I can rush on through and kind of slingshot around, I think. I'm not sure how much benefit I get from passing rocks. I think I may be better off just flying. Kind of interesting contrast. Whoa, this is sad. I don't have any meat or anything telling me how much um, fuel that I have. So I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm going to run out or anything. I think I can mostly do it. I can. Woo! I think I did it. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to rocket all that way. Oh, I have some velocity. Okay. There we go. See? Okay. I don't know if that's the tutorial or not. That's cool. Whoa. Adding in an object. Oh, okay. I brought it with me. Okay. I want my cube. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Like in space. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ooh, a 
Okay, I can fly around. There are little lights here. Like that one is inside that one. And I feel like let's try and get this one in. I don't know if this is a goal. Come on. Come on. I don't know if I can soccer it in either. Mind you. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to assume that the cube is either too hard to do or something that I was not intended to do. I wonder what these big mushrooms are. That looks kind of interesting. I hope the loading Z doesn't mean death. I guess we will soon find out. I don't think my hand is down. It'd be really cool if I could hear like a soft like uh, fire thruster or something. Skybox is really pretty. I like that. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a cube there. I'm supposed to bring that cube with me. Oh my goodness, that is big. That is so big. Oh my goodness. We have to go back and get the tube. Because it clearly doesn't belong back there. All the silence is kind of deafening. Maybe it's going to be like a, a red cube. Let's return back to the giant mushroom in the sky. I feel 
think I really need some sound effects here. So. <laughs> You're making your own. Yeah, I'll just end up having to make my own. Done messing with the tube. Let's see if we can find the end goal. Hopefully, you didn't have to have the tube for the end goal. So there's these two big like lines in the sky. I am not certain whether or not these are bad things or good things. I'm going to assume no. that they are bad, but I want to avoid them. Looks like it might be like some sort of like object. Now what's really weird is like I keep sometimes seeing and then unseeing those stripes and I'm not sure what those stripes are supposed to be. Maybe I need to unlock all three. Maybe that's what that is. Like that's related to the tubes. That's our guess. At least when I fly have them check it out. And if it does require the tubes, I think I'll switch to the other game. By having difficulty controlling the tubes. Really kind of interesting. I'm 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 definitely avoiding it. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I catch them. It may just be like an interesting obstacle that they were hoping that I would catch to. Maybe I'm not supposed to have this infinite rocket fuel like I seem to have. Maybe you're supposed to kind of like slingshot and attack yourself on me. And so that was like a jumping kind of puzzle. But I figured out how to fly around. So kind of avoided, avoided that. I don't know if I'm getting any closer. It feels like I may not be getting closer. Maybe I am. Well, let's just go up. Oh, I'm gonna step over. Looks like there's definitely something there. I just don't know what it is. Deafening silence is really weird. Like I keep imagining that I, I, I should be hearing or, or or having some other indication of what the, the, the goal is. Almost there. Almost. This is definitely a game in patience. So we have these three colored things. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think it looks like some kind of thing. Okay. Thing to mislead me. Can I go through? No. I can't. Okay. Was about. Maybe it was related to some tubes. No, 
Oh, this is one giant cube. Jet knife, though. They definitely have a very large scale on this. Shoot my stuff forward. Oh. Alter. Understand uh, what is the okay. okay. So we're just gonna yeah, fly back. The last time they had me flying up, and I was trying to find a portal. Okay, so these are the big mushroom things. Okay, I think I think I. I don't fully understand this. And then there was one other game. Oh, it was the drunken um, soccer player participating in the drinking game while playing soccer. So let's see if I can pull that one up. This one is a jam game by Ultra. So it looks like maybe it's a team. Um, they use sounds from the free library. Um, it doesn't say how many people were there, but, uh, so they drink when anyone scores. When 10 seconds passes, a crowd member yells, and, um, a ball is stuck and you need to return. If you don't drink within three seconds of a rule being triggered, the game will force you to drink double. Okay, so, let's play. Game. Oh, what game? Soccer drinking game. So here I see the move. For some reason, it wasn't letting me. I'm letting me control it. Okay. I think it's trying to open it in VR. I don't hear any sounds. I don't see anything in my section. I can exit VR. in VR. It just for some reason is not loading. Okay. I'm not sure what this was prompted me to see. And on Windows. This, oh, so you have to click on things. So obviously it started. Okay. Settings in VR. Hoping that that will help. So, okay, this is a drinking game while playing soccer, and it's open to see. 
I can do fast. I think that was the score. Ooh. I'm not sure how this is possible to work. That is super. Oh, because you're just going to die. You got through it without throwing me up. That's a real win. Ooh, ah, okay. Oh, I got a score. Okay. Okay. Oh, he got me. Okay. Okay. I won. I can play soccer. Oh, I won. Okay. Ah, ah. Okay, I can do something outside of the window. I want to win. Oh, okay. There's a ball. I'm gonna go after the ball. Ooh, I won. We're gonna tie. Tie it up. Oh, no. Can we get this one? Boom. Oh, oh. Totally. Okay. Got through without throwing up. That's a real win. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I wanted to be full screen. Keep looking out. Steam, Steam, you let me down. What? Hold on. That's still funny, and I can't find anything. What? I can't even find anything. Oh. Well, I hear that. Ball, bad ball. Woo. Bad ball, you're gonna you need to you need to get in the there we go. Okay. Nice ball. Nice ball. Come on. No, 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 bad, bad. I'm getting bad. What do you mean bad? You're supposed to score on the blue side. No, that went on the red side. That was but both. Of the, oh, I'm watching delayed on the screen. Sorry. Oh, I need you. I need you. Oh, okay. Interesting game. Okay. I think that is it for VR streaming. I haven't seen anyone um, coming into the chat and asking for me to play their game. So I think I'm going to just uh, sign off and uh, not, not uh, play.
playing anything else um, tonight. But uh, thank you for watching. And if you are one of the uh, individuals that made the game, um, I would love to have an update on how your game is progressing if you're going to keep working on it after you're done drawing. And I hope that everybody enjoyed seeing these highlights of VR related games for the Red and Dark. Thank you for watching and good night.